All right, today we're going to go through a utility maximization problem. Uh, just go through the math, go through the calculus derivation, and also the algebraic def derivation, and see what we come up with. Here we're going to solve this utility max problem where Q1 is good one times Q2, so they interact with each other, plus Q1 plus 2Q2. This is all going to be subject to the budget constraint where income equals price of good one times Q1 times Q1, the good, plus price of Q2 times Q2. Now in this problem we have income given to us which is five, say five dollars, and two dollars is the price of good one times good one plus five the price of good two times Q2. So now we gotta set up our Lagrangian to go through the calculus derivation of this. So our Lagrangian, begin by the Lagrangian symbol, we're gonna have Q1 times Q2 plus Q1 plus 2Q2, which is from our utility function, plus our mu, which is our Lagrangian multiplier. That's going to be multiplied times our constraint. So 5 minus 2Q1 minus 5Q2. So that's our Lagrangian. We then take the first order conditions, so partial Lagrangian, partial Q1, which is our choice variable. That first term gives us Q2 plus 1, the derivative of Q1. This term here is going to drop out. When we take the derivative with respect to this constraint component, we're going to get mu. And Q1 only enters here, so it's going to be times negative 2. And we set that equal to 0. We then take the second first order condition, which is going to be to the second choice variable, and so we get Q1 for that first interactive component plus 2 plus our mu from this component times negative 5. And that's going to be equal to 0. What we now want to do is solve for mu for both of these first order conditions and then we can kind of simplify it. So let's solve this first one for mu. We get negative 2 mu equals q2 plus 1 or we can divide that 2 over and we get mu equals the q2 plus 1 over 2. Sorry, having some pencil troubles and that's going to be solving for negative mu. For the second one, we get negative 5 mu equals q1 plus 2, and when we isolate that negative mu, we get q1 plus 2 over 5. So now we have these solutions. We can set these negative mu's equal to each other, and then we'll have to simplify. So let's rewrite this as negative mu equals 1 plus q2 over 2. And that's also equal to our q1 plus 2 over 5. So now what we need to do is we need to solve for either q1 or q2. Here I'm going to solve for q1. So let's multiply both sides by 5. So we get 5 plus 5q2 equal to, and then we multiply both sides by 2. So 2q1 plus 4. We then subtract 4 from both sides, and we end up getting, so we can cross that out, 2q1 equals 1 plus this 5q2. So now if I wanted to solve for Q1, I could divide both sides by 2, but actually since in our constraint it's 2Q1, it's easier to just keep this as is. So if we look back at our constraint, we have 5 equals 2Q1 plus 5Q2. We can substitute that 2Q1 into here. 
So we get 5 plus, or 5 equals 1 plus 5q2 plus 5q2. Subtract that 1 over and we get 4 equals 10q2. Divide both sides by 10 and we end up getting q2 equals 0.4. So now we know what Q2 is equal to, we can plug that into our constraint to solve for Q1. So our constraint again was 5 equals 2Q1 plus 5Q2. We know that Q2 equals 0.4, so we get 5 equals 2Q1 plus 5 times 0.4. That means that we have the same thing plus 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, we get 3 equals 2q1. Divide both sides by 2, get 1.5 equals q1. So we know that the optimum is going to be q1 equals 1.5 and q2 equals 0.4 and that's the calculus version. The algebraic version is to just take your marginal utilities from each of those, the marginal rate of substitution, which was if you take MRS over MR, well, MRS equals MRT, and our MRS, the ratio of those two, was just going to be Q2 plus 1 over Q1 plus 2, and we set that equal to the MRT, which is the ratio of prices, is 2 over 5. You can then use the identical algebraic process to solve for this and get your solution, which we got here using the calculus approach.